Mailbag. One, two, three, four, five, six bags. All right, other wire and cable connectors. These are wire wrap wires. I saw these on somebody else's channel. They were not 30, I think they're 30 gauge. Um, they call them wire wrap wires. I wouldn't, probably you wouldn't use that gauge for wire wrapping. Let's use brown because brown's ugly. See what this is. What size this is? I think this is going to be 30. Yeah, yeah, it's 30, 30 gauge, not 32. Pretty thick for wire wrapping, unless you're doing large posts. Uh, some of the other wire wrapping wire I have is this assorted roll. That might be the same stuff. This is a little. Yeah, could be the same. I'm not really sure. What is this? This is a thirty. This is thirty gauge as well. Yes, yeah, so this is also thirty gauge. So I guess it is wire wrap wire. It's a little thick than what I use. Um. Probably the same thing as this. I probably didn't need to buy this, but uh, this is kind of hard to deal with. When you're looking for a specific color, you got to unwind the whole thing, and uh, kind of a bit of a pain. And then I have, and then I can take this down. Oh, I can't get these wires off of here. This is my other wire wrap bar that I usually use. This is, um, I'll just uh, cut a piece off. I believe this is 32 gauge. Yeah, see, it's hard to strip. Uh, let's break out the... I don't know if my calipers are accurate enough to measure this or not. And, uh, we'll just leave it on millimeters. Uh, let's put it on the inches. That's saying it's thicker. That's weird. That's actually saying it's thinner than my wire. That doesn't sound right. Yeah. 0.18 millimeters. 0.23 millimeters. Point twenty. Yeah, I don't really know if that's different or. Hmm. Might be the same gauge, just different. Very. Uh... This is measuring very skinny, though. You know what? I might be wrong. I might uh, be totally wrong. Uh, I just assumed the stuff was thinner. Maybe the uh, insulation's just thinner. That's why I like using this for wire wrapping. I think it's got a much thinner insulation. This has got a much thicker insulation, so this will be good for wiring proto boards. Sometimes this stuff's a little too small. It's got a very, very, very thin insulation. Very slick. 
Uh, this is like twice the size of the film of the uh, this is about twice the size of the conductor. Hmm. Not bad. I don't think this was ex very expensive and it comes in a nice little nice little pack of wire. Nice some nice colors. And it's probably going to be a lot easier to handle than buying one of these. This says it's um I don't know which one this is. I think it's this one, 2430. So the installation's 24 and the conductor's 30. This is probably the same. This is probably 30 with a, a much smaller insulation. Next. Tools. These are these are clear keycaps for I believe cher cherry switches. Uh, yeah, five clear keycaps. I was gonna make a little uh, keyboard for macros and stuff. And this is some generic soldering braid, some thicker stuff, thicker than what I have. Stuff I have is really thin and it just gets knotty. This is nice and thin. I like this. That's just no name. It just didn't have any label or nothing on it. I'll show you the other one I have. Here's the other one. This one's just, um, just really thin, but it's very, it's, I don't know. I just don't like it. It's, uh, just not in good condition. It's all chunked up. It's very hard to use. It's almost, it's just too thick. Look how thick it is. You can't get the heat to even go through it. It's like all bunched up like the tension was wrong. Like it should be, uh, it should be flat like that, but it's uh, instead it's all twisted up and tight. See, it should be should be nice and loose like that. So this is probably rejects of something that was tensioned wrong or well, this is much nicer. You can see how thin that is. It's like a ribbon. Computer peripherals. All right, these are probably not real. <laughs> these are cherry reds and cherry browns. I think I got generic ones, I don't remember. I think I got some real ones and some generic ones just to see if they're good enough. These are cherry reds, these are cherry browns. So to see how the since I'm not using a making a keyboard, I'm just making a macro keyboard. I don't really care how how good they are. I'd rather just see if it. Yeah, definitely a difference between the linear. Yeah, nice, not too bad. Oop. 
All right, next. Um, doesn't say what it is. This is an ODB2 Bluetooth adapter. I thought it would be cool to have. I have one that plugs in, but this would be nice so you can leave it plugged in and have app control and you can pull a lot more. I think you can pull a lot more PIDs off with an app than you can with um, just one of those uh, plug-in ones. And this plugs into your car. I'm not going to tear it down yet. It might be glued. No, maybe not. I don't want to break it though. I want to try to use it first because I have a truck that I have some codes, uh, that, some EVAP codes on. So I was going to plug this in and see if I can pull some sensor stuff. Syringe. Uh, there's a bunch of syringes. Uh, I like this because it's the sorted, so it's, uh, you know, 10 mil, 5 mil, 3 mil, and I think this is 1 milliliters, yeah, 1 milliliter, 5 millimeter, uh, sorry, 3, 3, uh, 1 milliliter, 3 milliliter, 5 milliliter, and 10 milliliter, and then it's got some caps, locking caps, and some uh, various gauge size, oh, look at that one, that one's huge. Some various gauge size uh, tips. And we got one more. The 38 kilohertz IR receiver. So I was going to do some prototyping for IR blasting and I got a little module for transmitting and now I have a little module for receiving. So now I can start working on getting IR, an IR blaster or repeater set up like to record the codes and then be able to retransmit it, you know, record like an infrared control. I think there's a database where you can download them. I'll have to check though. Um, Cause if you can download the codes without having to record them, that'd be really cool. Um, I don't know if that's gonna work out. So I just got one of these and you can always sample it and record it. That's it for now. Till next time.